Hello friends. So once again welcome to my channel. In this video today we will see uh, the memory or, uh, organization of the cells in 1K by 1 memory chip. In the last video we have seen that 16 by 8 memory chip. Next today we will see 1K by 1. So see in case of 1K by 1 how we are going to design. So see in case of 1K we require how many address lines? We do require 10 number of address lines. Where from I am getting that 10? 1K. 1K means what? 2 to the power 10. That means 10 number of address lines are required. So if we think this 2 to the power 10, then our understanding will be something like this, that in memory, 2 to the power 10 number of locations are there and each one will be holding 1 bit of information. Maybe 1, maybe 0. 1, 1 bit in one location will store. And how many such locations are there? 2 to the power 10. And in our last video, we have seen the one cell, one, one cell like this, your 2 to the power 10 cells will be there and they will be connected to your word, word line, right? And they will be all the, uh, all the cells in a particular column will be connected to sense right circuit, right? So see, in case of 1K by 1, what it will do? that we will be having 2 to the power 10 number of uh, rows will be there and only one column is there, right? So 2 to the power 10 will be the number of elements in a column and all of them will be connected to a common bit lines, B and B bar. And this B and B bar lines will be connected to sense right circuit. And the job of sense right circuit is to sense the values of the bit lines and uh, output the value accordingly. If this is 1 and it is 0, it will output 1 and vice versa. And for out, uh, write operation, it will take the value from sense right circuit and will set the value 1 and 0 depending on the incoming value coming from the processor. This is how it is. So see here, the main uh, point is in one column, your 2 to the power 10 number of cells are there, right? So it is a long bit line right it, it will be a long bit line that is connected to my sense right circuit and as the length will increase then it will um, weak the it will make the signals weak uh, that is going to be detected by the sense right circuit so due to this what we used to do instead of having a longer column what we are going to do we are going to organize our cells as a row by column order. Not only in a single column, the point is in our memory design, we are not going to have a longer column, right? A, a longer column will introduce your that problem in detecting uh, the values of the bit line by the sense right circuit. Due to that, what we are going to do Whenever we are going to have a longer uh, column size, we used to uh, organize the cells in row by column order, not directly linearly in one column. So here see, in our 1K by 1, we have got 1K number of cells, 1K number of cells, that is 1024. So it is a longer line that is connected to my sense right circuit, right? So due to that, what we will do, will divide this 1024, whatever is my size of column, will divide it equally into two parts. So 1024 means what? 102, um, 2 to the power 10. Equally, if I'll divide, it will be 2 to the power 5 into 2 to the power 5. So what we will have, we will have 32 rows. We are not going to design it as a linear array of 2 to the power 10 locations. What we will do? will organize the cells in some row by column order. Reason behind is understood because of that longer uh, longer line, your sense right circuit will not be able to detect the bit values properly. So due to that, what we will do, we'll organize the cells in row by column order. And how I'm going to design that? Whatever is my column length, that I will divide it equally into two parts. So this is my rows. How many rows I will have? Two to the power five. And in a row, 2 to the power 5, number of columns will be there. As a whole, I do require 10 number of address lines. 
because total number of cells is what? 2 to the power 10. So we do, we do require your 10 number of address lines. But what we will do internally, my memory chip is uh, having the cells in row by column order, not directly as a linear array of 2 to the power 10 rows. So this only I'm going to do. In case of 1K by 1 memory, I am going to have 32 by 32 cell array. Each cell is capable of holding one bit of data. And each cell in a column is connected to your sense write circuit, right? So it is connected to my sense write circuit. And see, in my memory cell, 32 by 32 is there, right? So to select a particular row, first, see, in your 10 bit address, the row, first, the five bits will go to select a particular row. So that is five bit row address decoder will be there because if I apply five bit input, I can have 32 different output and at a time one of the output will be enabled. So that particular row will be selected. Whatever suppose here I am giving some address due to that this line is active. So in this line, whatever cells are there, how many cells will be there? 32 because the size of each row is what? 32 columns. In a row, 32 columns are there. So one row is selected. So in this row, total 32 cells are there. 32 columns are there. So all of them will be selected. Their values will come to this sense write circuit. Right. Now, from which particular sense write circuit, the value will go to your data input output line. Because see, my memory chip is what? 1K by 1. So I'll give one address. After giving the address, I require one bit of data to come or to go to the memory cell, right? So I need one bit of data. So I'll apply 10 bit of address. Out of that, 5 bit will select my one particular row. Whatever row is selected, that row's data will come to your sense write circuit as a whole. Now see what we will do. Now I require only one bit of data. But now, right now, my sense write circuit has got the value of all the columns in the selected row. It is there. Now, out of these 32, uh, 32 columns in the selected row, we need to send data from only a single cell. So from 32, I need to select only one cell. That is, from many to one, I need to do the selection. For that, we will be connecting one multiplexer. The job of multiplexer is to, out of 32, send the value of one particular cell on the data input-output line. So to, from which particular column it will send, that will come from the select line of your uh, multiplexer. So see, from 32 lines, it has to select only one. So out of 32, from which particular cell the data will go, that is decided by this 5-bit column address. Because as a whole, we are going to get 10-bit address. 5-bit is utilized for selecting the row. Then in the selected row, all the values are copied to the sense right circuit. Now from the sense right circuit, one particular column's value has to go on the data input-output line. So for that, the remaining 5 bits is going to select the column. So to select the column, we are having one multiplexer. The size of multiplexer will be 32 to 1. Out of 32, it will select one particular column's data on the data output line, right? So due to that, we are using this multiplexer. And see, what type of operation I am performing, whether it is read or write, that is given by this one. And then... As we are mostly connected with your multi-chip environment, so every chip will have one CS line, right? So see, this how we can design your 1K by 1 memory. Hope you are getting it. Once again, I am repeating 1K by 1 memory. Why? First of all, why we have chosen 1K by 1 memory? Because in my last video, I have shown you that in one in case of one, see 1K by 1 is storing 2 to the power 10 bits. Then 128 by 8 is also storing 1K number of bits. And then we have seen 64 by 16. All three organizations are storing same amount of data. But this requires the minimum number of external pin connections. 
due to that this chip design was preferred now whenever we are designing this chip we have seen we have got a longer uh, line for your uh, the we have a longer uh, column so as it is longer due to that to reduce the length we have designed the memory chip as a row by column right so for row by column we need to first select the row then we will select the column due to that this multiplexer is coming and if it is a output operation that means if it is a write operation data will go from the processor to one of the cell so see that time it is demultiplexer because that one bit value will go to one of the cell in the 32 means it will be spread in the particular row right so due to that it is demultiplexer so this is all about from your 1k by 1 memory organization and why we have this 32 by 32 all these things are discussed hope you are getting from my explanations and if you are getting from my explanations then please do like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you